So this particular painting, you see, oh, so I, I created this on site because plein air painting is painting on site. You're not painting in the studio, you're not painting from a photo. You're actually out there in front of the scene and you're depicting exactly what's in front of you. Um, so I painted that last year. Last year is the eighth annual paint out. Um, it was downtown on Rush Street. It's a nice street scene, which is what I like. Um, and again, plein air painting is really your response to the, to the light of your subject matter. So for example, as I was explaining before, um, this particular painting is not a portrait of this house. I don't care what the house is, if there's anything else here. What I wanted to, to depict was how the light fell on the street and what colors I would get, how the shadows were formed. So that is usually um, what a plein air painting is about. Most of them are, you would probably call them impressionistic realism because you are in front of the scene, so you're depicting what is there in quite a realistic way, but because you're concentrating on the light and what it does to your subjects. For example, the sun hitting a white house. So now my house is not white anymore. It gets the sunlight, so it's more um, yellowish. The same with the street. I mean, everybody knows a street is like, you know, very boring gray. So, but when you look at this painting first, you would never say, oh my God, the street is yellow. Why would it be yellow? You, everybody knows, oh, this must be because there's such a strong sunlight here that it turns the street into all these beautiful colors. Yellow, you can see some pinks here. The shadows are actually not gray. They're nice purplish. So everything really gets more this year in particular, the proceeds benefit the Marine Discovery Center and the Artists' Workshop. Okay. Uh, we're both very focused on community and education. First of all, it's community. a week-long affair. We started with the quick draw, which mm -hmm. is really before all the artists actually come, which the artists come from all over. I think there's some from Maine, from Massachusetts, from everywhere. A lot of them are, of course, from Florida. Um, I think there's five from here, from mm -hmm. New Smyrna Beach. Okay. Um, so you have the quick draw which is kind of a competition of anybody can participate for fee and we meet at the riverside park and you have basically a timed painting so the uh, anybody can just try their hand on painting plain air means on site whatever's in front of them for two hours that so. sounds stressful <laughs> yes and that's really actually what plain air painting is it's, you know, this is really a timed event where we actually have a horn blasting the start and the end. And when really? the horn blasts, you have to lay down your brushes. A lot of times on those festivals, we have the quick draws for the actual participating artists. Here, we have make it more of a fun event for the community so they can experience what it's like. Mm -hmm. So this two-hour timed event is really to recreate what we as artists do. Because when you paint outside, the sun moves during yes. the day. So when I paint something like this, uh, when I start at one o'clock in the afternoon, by three o'clock, these shadows will all have moved. They will be shorter or they will be in a different place. So most planar artists will tell you that they will finish a painting within two hours. I mean, three hours is really, you, you're gonna chase your shadows and it will look totally So that's huge. And that's why, that's the nice thing about this planar fe um, festival is that you have 23 artists. Everybody paints at least two to three paintings a day for six, seven days. Yeah. So at the end, you'll have over 300 paintings that you can admire in the Red Gallery, which is at the Artist Workshop. Um, and they're all of this area that you're familiar with and you will see subject matter like this here. You've probably gone by this, you know, a yeah. hundred times in your life and now you <laughs> see it depicted through an artist's view and their eyes and their, you know, how, what kind of materials they use and it's just you see it with new eyes and it's just really awesome. Like I said, to just see your own area depicted in so many different ways.